sit on the seat and then jump it off there. Oh, you going to start recording? I am recording. Oh, um, what's up, Shredders? Today we're going to talk about my new bike. It's a specialized stump jumper, uh, carbon comp. As a lot of you know, I was riding enduro before this, but it was too small and it had 26 inch wheels, so time to upgrade. Starting up front, Shimano Dior XT brakes. I'm probably going to end up swapping these out for TRPs or SRAM codes. They don't really have enough modulation for me and the stopping power just isn't as good as the guides were. So the fork I'm running up front is a RockShox Pike. It's got 60 PSI in it. I'm liking it so far but I think I'm going to put another volume spacer in it to kind of make it a little bit more progressive. And then the wheels I'm running are Stans No Tubes Rapid 28. 28 millimeters uh, inner width with stance 3.30 hubs in it. I uh, really like the sign, it gives a nice ratcheting. Yeah. Make so, the shock we're running is the Fox Float X. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I've been running Rock Shocks on my Enduro before this. I uh, haven't bottomed out with this and I've hit some big drops, so it's a really progressive shock. And yeah, I'm running 165 psi in it right now. And then I don't ride with a backpack anymore because I have a SWAT toolkit now. I carry a tube, pump, and then tire levers and a snack in there. All fits in there perfectly. Running with a POC race bottle, it's about 17 fluid ounces in there. And it's, that's about enough for a 10 mile ride. But anything more than that, I would definitely carry a, a pack with me. But if you have this bike, I would definitely get a shock without the piggyback because then you can put a bigger bottle in here. This is the only one that'll fit. And I would really like to carry like a 25 ounce bottle for larger rides. So I started off with the Shimano XT 11 through 42 tooth cassette, but it wasn't enough for me because why would I not use 50 teeth if I don't have to? Do I? Why would I not use 50 teeth if I can use 50 teeth? That's better. Uh, so I went out on Amazon. They have everything there, and I got an 11 to 50 tooth cassette because I didn't want to buy the Eagle because that's like $400 for the GX, which is still really expensive, and I don't have money. This was $70. Long cage XT shifter derailleur. Uh, first time running carbon cranks. SRAM XX1 with 32 tooth chainring. Carbon cranks are really nice. Definitely can tell the difference. It's a lot lighter. Um, first thing I would do if you get carbon cranks is put crank booties on there so you don't scrape them up. And then specialized Benny's pedals with the 510s. It almost feels like I'm clipped in and it helps the jumping and dabbing my foot on corners. Uh, reverb, 125 mil dropper post, no complaints. But overall, I really enjoy the bike. It's a lot better than my Enduro. The 27.5s roll over all the rocks really easily. It's still, I haven't gotten a chance to jump on it yet, but we'll get to that soon. Hopefully, it doesn't feel like a truck in the air. And then it corners really well. I'm surprised at the big wheels, and it's a large frame. It's kind of a little bit big for me, but we measured the frame, and it's actually it's 18.5 inch, which is kind of small so tires maxis mini dhf specialized butcher on the back i'm really digging the maxis it holds well in the corners but when i'm rounding corners when i get to this back end it kind of slides out i don't know if that's because i shred so hard you know digging into the corners but i'm probably going to put a shorty or a dhr on the back because i don't really like i've never really liked specialized tires so yeah maxis is definitely the way to go for me so this bike climbs really well definitely better than my enduro the bigger wheels, less travel, it's carbon, 50 tooth cassette. I think there's definitely better suspension platforms out there. This one, I do feel it bob a lot on the climbs, but it's not big enough of a deal to where I wouldn't want to ride the bike. Another thing to add is don't buy this seat, the specialized Tube 143. It hurts my butt a lot. It, no, yeah. Either get padding for your underwear or get a softer seat. It's not good at all. So overall, I'm really loving the bike, especially for a trail bike, it handles the chunky stuff incredibly well. I've taken it down some super steep, gnarly stuff, and it's done better than I expected. It's probably the most confident I've ever felt on a bike, so hopefully I'll be able to take it out into the bike park this summer, get on some of the jumps and some of the bigger stuff to see how uh, the suspension handles it. But yeah, loving my bike. I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to get it. Other than my Enduro does, it's lighter, Jacob's twerking. <laughs> <laughs> 